Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will prove that the sine low, which is presumed by A over sine A, equals 2R by another method different from the other one that we made the last video. So, here the R refers to the radius of the circumcircle which surrounds the triangle that we are dealing with. In this figure, we drew a circle and then we drew two inscribed angles subtended by the same arc BC. Then we join between the B and C to form the chord BC and to complete the triangle ABC. There is a rule that we must know that states if we have a triangle in a circle and this hypotenuse is the diameter of the circle like BD which passes through the center the measure of the angle facing this diameter is of measure 90 degree we can deduce from this that the triangle BCD is not is a right angle triangle So, if we want to get the sine of the angle D, and as this is a right angle triangle, so the sine D equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. The opposite over the hypotenuse. So we have BC over BD. This is our first point. Our triangle ABC contains the same side here BC. So the BC in the triangle ABC is referred to as A because it's opposite to the angle A. So in this sine D we can write BC as A. And the BD as a diameter of the circle, we can rephrase this by typing this as 2R because this is the diameter of the circle. So, sine D equals A over 2R. Then, if we multiply this expression by 2R, we get 2R sine D equals A. So, 2R equals A over sine D. At last, because those two angles are both inscribed by the same arc, so they are equal in measure. Because in the circle, they have the same vertices and as if this angle is translated into this one or the opposite. So they are both equal in measure. So finally we can type 2R equals A over sine A and now we have proved that the sine low equals 2R and we can use this rule to get the um, area of the circumcircle or the circumference of the circumcircle by using the sine low so that we if we have a value of the sine low it will equal 2r and simply we can get the value of the radius and get the area of the circumcircle or the uh, circumference of the circumcircle and this is it for today the next time we will um, know more examples to practice over the sine low and until then, I thank you for watching and see you next time.